Hey, how you doing? I mean, in this video, I'm going to be drawing a church. Uh, Stone Church is located in Limehouse, Ontario. I'm going to be drawing it on uh, watercolor paper. Strathmore, actually. I like using the Strathmore. And uh, I've already made a printout. Here's the uh, church I'm going to be uh, drawing. Uh, so I printed this out for uh, photo reference. And um, I'm going to be using the uh, flat wing ink pens. So it comes in a set of three, the 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0.5. I like using that because uh, the ink is consistent and um, and I like to wear this. I, I put a little hole in here for my thumb, but I'm going to wear this glove just so I don't, I'm not dragging my hand across the paper and, you know, you're not having to look at my, my hairy arms and whatever, right? And um, what I like to do also, and I just use basic tape, painter's tape. I like to have a border around my drawings, so I'll actually tape this down like this. So your border can be, I have about almost a centimeter. So you can go a centimeter, an inch or whatever. Whatever size border you'd like to have. Okay, that's it. I'll start off with the 0.2 ink pen. But before I do anything, I'm going to show you uh, just how I plan out my drawing. And I'm going to be showing you that in Photoshop. Just show you how I get my perspective and the geometric shapes in the drawing, just to simplify it for you. So uh, it can be a little bit overwhelming, and uh, I'll show you it to you in a way that will be that will simplify everything, that will break everything down into its basic geometric shapes. Okay. Actually, let me correct myself. I meant to say Krita, not Photoshop. But I'll be doing this, and um, so Krita is actually free. Unlike Photoshop, so you can download Krita for free if you want to uh, do the same thing I'm doing here. So that's, that should help you out if I'm not using expensive $1,000 Photoshop software, right? So, so I'm using the free software here. So, so yeah, just to break everything down, um, sort of imagine this. You get your, uh, your lines here. I'm just going to show in some basic perspective lines here so everything will vanish on this one side here will vanish to this location over here so vanishing point one i don't know if you can hear my chickens in the background they're upset about something outside so between my uh, video takes i have to go out and check on them so Anyways, yeah, so we got the vanishing point one, and then on this side we have vanishing point two out here. There. So these vanishing point number one and two, they should line up. Sure, horizon line right there. So everything is going to line up with your horizon line and the vanish will vanish at vanishing point number one and vanishing point number two. That's why it's called a two-point perspective. Vertical one here, and we have a little one right here. Like that. And lines of these steps also will all vanish to that vanishing point number two. And then we got the roof up here. And then we got this little roof here. And the triangular gable. So the whole entire drawing is basically triangles and rectangles, basically. And then we got your windows on the side as well. And they'll do the same thing. They'll all vanish to the same location. Even the window framing, everything. The only way that it wouldn't is if the building had a curve or this this one face here wasn't consistent, like if it had changed direction at some point, and then obviously the windows, there would be a third vanishing point with, that, with the case. But this building is basically, it's rectangular with a little rectangular entranceway, and so everything's going to go on a two-point perspective, right? And the same thing with the ground features as well. So you get your grass, your plants, even your garden, and all your trees, everything. And the drawing 
is going to go to those two points when you're drawing. Okay then. So that's about as simple as I can explain it for you. I hope that helps. Meanwhile. Okay, I'm going to start off with the point two. And I'm just going to draw a basic line drawing just to start. I'm going to use my roller ruler here. Ink pen is a bit more unforgiving, so if there's any areas you're still unsure of, you can just switch over to a pencil and uh, put in your uh, perspective lines like before, right? And I'm going to actually put this door in first in pencil.
Ugh, getting kind of bored. Uh, 